Hello friends, I've now moved, um, I still haven't got a bra on and it's midday. So we were talking about Anna, our children's theatre maker, who bizarrely was making a show that um, confronted uncomfortable truths for children, but whatever she is. So you could also say how long you've been doing the work for. Um, so those are the things, thematically link, art form, how long you've been doing the work for. Um, be specific, use specific adjectives, try not to use things like brilliant or hilarious these descriptive words now what a good thing to do i would advise everyone to do this is to open the entire application the about you section with a quote and if you haven't got a press quote then ask someone an arts organization or ideally or a press or you know or a reviewer or an artist that you admire that the arts council will have heard of for a quote about your work and what you're doing there that's a shortcut you're saying this person writes me um, and they can sum up your work and often they're more enthusiastic and um, gushing about your work than you are about your own so open with a quote that sums up your practice and then first two sentences sum up your practice really concisely and this is a chance for you to really think um, it can be quite like existential think really about what it is that you're passionate about what it is that you do what it is that links all of your work and say it in a couple of sentences okay and then from there on you can say i did this in this year this and this year this and this year blah 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 and on and on and on and on what you're saying here in this section you need to prove that you are a solid bet so it can be you're trying to say that you are experienced ideally and your work is quality so if you haven't got experience or much experience that can be okay as long as you your work is really good so you're saying you're a solid bet and um, that this isn't just a whim. What else have I written here? Um, yeah, so does that make sense? What I want you to do is if you've got questions, tweet them to me. So my Twitter is Amy, A-M-Y, Kate, C-A-T-M, Amy, Kate, M. Um, or you can email me at amycmason at hotmail.com. But I prefer it on Twitter if possible. Or you can write it in the comments. And I will try and answer things on Twitter or I might do another video. So those bits. Then what we're going to talk about next. We are going to talk next about um, your project. So main mistakes people make. They work with. They're not ambitious enough. Let's, set, let's do the whole, actually the whole application, the whole thing. Generally, people are not ambitious enough. They do not shout enough about themselves. They are not ambitious enough. Be really ambitious. Do not work with your friends. Do not just work with your friends. Do not just work with people from the city that you live in. The Arts Council will look at your application and they will go, Amy's from Bristol. She probably already knows so and so and so and so and so and so. Like, she could work with them anytime. This is a chance if you want to mentors or partners, look nationally and internationally. Approach your dream mentors and your dream partners explain the, what's happening and offer them a fee if you get the if you get the money they'll say yes i mean i've had some brilliant people i've had people um contact like a really famous clown in russia who agreed to mentor someone really famous children's book authors and illustrators theater makers people say yes and people are flattered obviously Everybody's working, everybody needs money. So make a list, start off by making a list of um, people that you really admire, that you'd love to work with and contact them one by one, go down. Don't like lose heart and give up, just go down, 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 down the list, okay? That is a major mistake people make is they constantly, they just work with a few people that they vaguely know and yeah, it's just not exciting. Um, so that's really, really important. Um, and then, yeah so ambition what we're trying to do here is we're trying to tell a story and it sounds really twatty but we are and we're trying to make a case that you are experienced solid your work is high quality that you're going to be doing something really exciting and new for you that is going to change your practice both creatively and possibly, probably financially. They're going to like it if you can say that you're going to make your work or practice more sustainable. So for me, my, my project didn't actually end up happening because of COVID, but I said, I'm going to be a director. I'm going to learn how to be a theatre director. 
and that meant that I would have a more sustainable practice because I'd be getting paid by other people to to work on their work rather than just constantly applying to the Arts Council for more projects for myself. So think about that. Also think about the number of people you're employing. The Arts Council are going to love it if you're giving work and opportunities to more people in your bid. What else can I say? Always think about access, think about sustainability, think about the story that you're trying to tell. Be ambitious, shout about yourself. Don't use convoluted language or jargon. Make it be something that you could tell your mate in the pub that makes sense. And think about whether this is the right fund for you. Often, like at least 50% of the people who've contacted me, what they're trying to go for is not a DYCP. It's much more, much more um, a project grant. It's much more for an individual project or a thing that they want to achieve. Also think about you can apply for training. So you can put in there for things like Arvon courses if you're a writer, other short courses, anything like that. Um, anyway, that's it. It's a really short breakdown. I might do another one where I um, take, a, take a bid to pieces. But for now, that's it. I hope that's okay. Goodbye.